Live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. Right now at 5.30, this is a live look downtown from our tower camera. The Jacksonville skyline, however, could be changing. Tonight we'll know which companies wanted the chance to develop the Jacksonville downtown riverfront. So the bids were just open for development at the old courthouse and city hall sites on Bay Street. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett was there today when they were announced. He joins us live this evening from the North Bank. Jim. You know, what we know is that only two companies are interested in developing this site here. And what they're going to develop, well, we're not sure at this time, but we do know that the com one of the companies is out of Miami and one is out of New York. Details, as I said, are sketchy at this point, but we could find out in about a month. It was just a year ago when we watched this Jacksonville skyline change forever. That's when the old city hall was imploded and the old courthouse was demolished. Today, this is what's left at the site. It's just an open grassland on prime riverfront property. The Downtown Investment Authority took steps today to change that and accepted bids from two companies wanting to develop the site. The first, Spandrel Development Partners, with offices in New York and Charleston. Its website says they specialized in mixed-use development and condos. The second is a related group out of Miami. Their website shows a heavy emphasis in residential development. No one with the Downtown Investment Authority would talk with us today about the proposals, which will be reviewed and scored, and then details will emerge. City Council must give its approval. We caught up with Mayor Curry today, who has a reputation of tearing down buildings in Jacksonville, and asked him what he wants to see built. Is it a hotel? I don't know. Is it a convention center? I don't know. Is it uh, restaurants and shops? Is it residential? I think all all options are on the table. Down the street at Lot J, the proposed entertainment complex, we should find out shortly what is going to go in there and how it will tie in to this riverfront project. Lot J is an example. Why, are we, why do we want to move so aggressively on Lot J? Well, obviously we want to develop the area, but we know we have uh, investors with capital that's liquid that are ready to go. Mm. I I think you can hear some of this noise behind me here. They are actually doing construction back here on Liberty Street. But one thing that we do know, at one time they did want to put a convention center on this site. About a year and a half ago, they scrapped that plans, wanting to see what was actually going to happen in the area. But I'm still hearing that is a possibility, maybe down towards the landing site. But yet nothing has been decided. We're live downtown, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.